Okay, I'm doing another filming of Elsie Karina Bean, my little Great Dane girl. She is uh, 16 weeks old tomorrow, and Ruckus, he is 7 months old. And uh, they're going to have another rabbit for lunch. And uh, this one is 90% whole. I had to remove some parts earlier. If you don't like watching this stuff, change the video now. I don't need comments with lots of nasty language and profanity. This is just for people, you know, who are going to feed their dogs something that's biologically appropriate. All right, there we go. This, there we go, let's start with, uh, that's a little bit of fur for Ruckus. Aunt Ruckus. And a leg for Ruckus. He's a pug. He gets the whole thing. He'll eat the whole thing, bones and all, like he's supposed to. Elsie just stole this fur. Elsie. Elsie will get the uh, big bunny. And this is a rabbit that was bred and raised for meat purposes. This was not somebody's pet. Um, killed, or not, or euthanized, I guess I should say, in a humane way that uh, doesn't leave residue in the animal's body. But, um,. I said this is totally biologically appropriate. This is how dogs are subspecies of wolves. That's been proven. So um, this is dog food as opposed to kibble, <laughs> which is not. Kibble is relatively new in the dog eating and feeding world compared to what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty gross looking. It has very little smell. Marcus is doing with his leg. He's not gonna let me see. He's doing all right. <laughs> no boy, you know, good boy. And uh, little dogs, especially with the uh, smooshy face dogs, probably need the um, the chewing and the gnawing and the the tearing of the meat and the bones. I think maybe more so than the big dogs because uh, this keeps their teeth in tip-top condition and they have little dogs with little smushy faces their teeth tend to be really kind of squished and jam-packed into their mouths and, uh, get back to Elsie see how she's doing you know Elsie being see how shiny she is she's been to the vet a few times and the and the uh, found a vet that, um, or the vet that I chose, I found because she practices alternative methods such as holistic care and um, she, oh, excuse me, is not totally opposed to the raw feeding as many, 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 many vets are. And they're just always amazed at how even-tempered and healthy in every way that Elsie is. And feeding and eating this way certainly does not make dogs bloodthirsty. Um, we have small caged animals inside that are pets. Um, and there are neighbors that have dogs, even really small dogs and cats. We have cats and the neighbors have cats and everybody is, mingles with each other, no problems. The dogs um, do not chase after children in a bloodthirsty way. All this chewing and gnawing actually makes them 
happier and we don't even have much problem with them chewing on anything inside the house they're not supposed to.